when we decided to bring the children here, there was nothing. There was a heap of rubbish. But I wanted to bring my children to be told by Mrs. Wambuza and Mrs. Mudowe. What I, I personally like about the school is that they get to know the child's potential, not only academic but all round, and they develop it. I am highly privileged to be here when we are celebrating 25 years of Green Hill Academy, Primary and Secondary Children. We are basically showcasing everything that we do here so that people can know what goes on inside the gates. Ladies and gentlemen, we are privileged that this morning our guest of honor, the State Minister for Foreign Affairs, is already on our ground and is seen by the rector, the head teacher, and the chairman of Green Hill Board of Directors. a group of organs working together to supply blood to all body parts. We are also showcasing what happens in the secondary. There is a lot of science there, there is biology, there is chemistry, there is physics. And in the secondary block we also had art, we had IT, we had sports. We are highly privileged that we had a guest of honor. We had Honorable Okelo Riem and his wife, and we had also the Commissioner for Primary Schools, Dr. Sam. It is a unique privilege for me to be visiting Green Hill Academy as you celebrate 25 years of holistic education. It is a natural trend to be reminded of what the founders had in mind by starting this school. The young men who are here, what's the trait of the studies? You'll be a parent soon. You have to look the family. So you have to study hard. To my young daughters, you have a more difficult task. You have to study even much harder than the boys. So without a girl child without any academic qualification has more chances of being mistreated, being mishandled, and being disadvantaged in the society than ever. Be a parent, the school to go to in the 21st century is Trinity Academy. I can see clever, clever boys and girls here. At least for me, I've learned how to get water water to clear water. Because it is beyond what the children do in the classroom, just sitting, but what they are able to do through music, dance and drama, their creativity, and that's why as an institution, we are moving ahead and um, we pray to God that our next 25 years are full of innovation to the teachers, to the children who are able to fit in this century.